Okay, so here is my horrible animation of Mr. Butcher cutting sausages. So we have uh, two layers, one that it's uh, cut strong and the other that is just a base cut. So here it's not like very enthusiastic cutting. And then with the second layer, we have this uh, big cut, uh, cha -cha -cha -cha, cutting, cut sausages. Okay. So now that we have these two, um, let's check the FBX exporter animation part. So I'm just gonna go to my shifter again, games, FBX exporter. So this is always a store in the scene. And by the way, you can also export and import your settings. So if you have this configuration that you use over and over, you can export it and re-import it again. So let's go to the animation section. Awesome. So the first thing we want to do is uh, add a clip, obviously. And the clip is gonna have the name so this is very similar to what you have on the game exporter but with the uh, added uh, layers um, capabilities so basically this is gonna be like a weak we cut let's call it like that the frame range is gonna be from uh, uh, 0 to 30 so we can readjust the frame range from here so we have a lot of uh, frame range you just can click here and it will adjust these two uh, values and also the play will set the frame range that you have on the clip and play it uh, this is to activate or deactivate the clip here and here you can see here you have none so none means whatever you have configured here it will do the, the export but in this case i just want the base animation then i'm gonna add another click uh, clip and strong cut and this will be uh, the uh, strong cut uh, layer. Okay, so we have these two settings there because we have the your root and the uh, join root. We don't need to set anything else. And also because we have this from the previous one. So we have this uh, skeleton. So this will add these animations to the skeleton. So I'm just going to export. So, uh, baking the animation, processing the data. Now, if we go to the Unreal, um, there is some uh, notifications there, but basically we have the strong cut and the weak cut. So let's check it out. So this is the fantastic animation with the weak cut. And this is the strong cut that it uh, looks terrible. Sorry for that. Okay, so we have it. So basically, um, Obviously, we need to place it okay, on the right place. But now we can have this there. And that will be it for this video. On uh, the next video, we'll check how to work with the sequencer.